I'm Will Godfrey, and I'm the executive director of the Influence Foundation and the editor-in-chief of its publication, Filter. Well, our stance is that smoking should be reduced through accurate public information, promoting and incentivizing use of harm reduction options, supporting people's agency and rejecting criminalization by using positive encouragement, not bans. One key way we work is through integrating tobacco harm reduction advocacy in the wider harm reduction field, where the two have unfortunately often been siloed. We've published many articles placing tobacco harm reduction in the context of other drug policies and emphasizing the social justice and health equity aspects of THR. We also highlight international examples of THR success stories, uh, for example, in Japan, Sweden, and the United Kingdom that have a great deal to teach us. Among our core audience of harm reduction oriented people, I've seen a really welcome increase in positive reactions and acknowledgement of the urgent need to promote THR. But with the wider public, certainly in the US, I've unfortunately seen much less progress. I mean, when I tell people in my personal life, for example, other parents I meet about what Filter does, they tend to be on board with policies we support like harm reduction and legalization for other drugs. But the sticking point for some remains vapes, which they perceive as a threat to youth. Put very simply, the world needs to embrace tobacco harm reduction options like vapes, snooze and heated tobacco products. We need to cut through the dogma of global public health authorities, politicians and media that too often identify THR products as part of the problem, despite the evidence. And we must learn from places with pro-THR policies, which are already seeing huge public health benefits. Unfortunately, achieving this is much, much easier said than done.